So if I'm having a hard time with my agility, I need to use a metronome. And what'd you say a metronome is? It helps you. It helps you stay on beat. Exactly. And so I can change the BPM. What is BPM? Beat per minute. Right. So if I'm having a hard time on my agility, how should I adjust my BPM? Should it be really fast or should it be really slow when I start out? Slow. Yeah. And then how can I get better at agility with my BPM? What should I do with it? Make it slow first. I get slower first, and then what do I do after that? If I if I can nail it at the slower tempo, then what do I do? Make it faster. Yeah. Now, do I go from like fifty all the way to a hundred? No. If I do well at fifty, then maybe what would I change the number two next? Fifty-four or fifty-five? Uh, yeah, like just a few number, just a few BPMs up. And then a few more, and then a few more till I get where I need to go. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. Chest waist number 10. Start it at a slow BPM. Let me see if I can find a good BPM. And then we'll see if we can do it at that tempo so we know what we need to start on. Okay, so that's 75. Za. Sing it ready and go. Za, nice job. Za. So what we need to do? We need to go a little bit slower because that BPM is a little too fast. Let's go to sixty-five. Za. Two. Now that time you wanted to speed it up. <laughs> Try it again. Two, ready, go. Za. So 65, would 65 be a good one to start at? A good piece? Yes. So what do you want your goal to be for next week? If, we, if we're doing 65 today, we don't want to go any lower. But what do you think you'd be able to do by next week? 67. 67 BPM. All right, that's our goal. If we can't do 67, then that means somebody didn't do their homework, okay? So I'm expecting you to do your homework. 65, then go up to 66, then go up to 67, and then...